Today, Bay Area company OpenAI announced it took ChatGPT offline on Monday. The company says it needed to fix a bug with the artificial intelligence chat box. That bug allowed some users to see content from other users' chat history. OpenAI says it believes only a small amount of users had personal data revealed, but the leak is already sparking a lot of questions and concerns. Joining us now for more on the seriousness of this data leak is Ahmed Benafa, cybersecurity expert at San Jose State University. Ahmed, in your opinion, is OpenAI downplaying this data leak? Well, at least they're admitting there is a problem. Uh, the problem they are describing or what happened on Monday uh, is a, is a programmer mistake, which is uh, you know a flaw in the design. Just to understand simply what happened, if um, you know the information saved in the memory, when you are uh, filling the memory over capacity, start start spilling over, leaking to the other user. This is exactly what happened. Okay, so tell us who and what's at risk here. What type of data was compromised? Well, uh, according to the uh, information that uh, the, the company uh, released and also from the uh, people who uh, suffer from that leak is the, uh, it's a, number one is the uh, credit card, the last four years of a credit card, the address uh, and, and the phone numbers. And this is limited to the subscribers for the ChatGPT Plus. It's about 1.2% of, uh, of the total subscribers. They found out that when they go to their payment options, they're going to find it's, it's uh, pre-filled, it's already auto-filled, and it's the, the wrong information. This is one side of the story. The other side is the chat history. When you are using that uh, uh, program and using the chat GPT, it's just, you know, preserve your history of what kind of information or question you ask for. They found out that somebody else's information is on the sidebar. Yeah, these AI chat boxes are designed to make our lives easier. Chat GPT exploded in popularity right from the start. It had more than a million users in the first five days after it launched. Some say it is the fastest growing app of all time. In your personal use of chat B GPT, have you noticed a lot of bugs? Well, uh, one thing about it is when they took it off the line for about uh, 10 hours, we lost access. That That's, that's considered you know you know a, a bad start for for you know for a uh, for some for a program like that uh, it's uh, it's limited in so many things you know you know the details of that one is uh, how far it's going to go with the data it's still the first stage of what we are looking forward the chat gbt4 is way much better but we have this problem which is the design issue they have to solve it so we're not going to have the same problem in the future so, Professor, um, regarding this week's data leak, should users be satisfied with the company's response and its fix? Uh, what they announce about it is how they're going to uh, counter that one. Is the is the uh, you know technical way or the traditional way of countering this kind of problems? Because they're using an open source software, and there is a lot of challenges when you are using this kind of of uh, infrastructure. Uh, what they have done so far is two things. Number one, they're going to make sure that the data, even if it's leaked, should go to the right people. Number two is they should have some kind of warning about it, not know about this through you know, Twitter or other social media that somebody is, is facing this kind of problem. So they saw the, the two steps here. Uh, you know, is everything okay? Nobody knows. Time will tell what is next. Mm -hmm. So as more and more people start using this type of technology, what would you say are the biggest concerns? Data leaks such as this? That's, that's one problem. The, the biggest problem I'm really worried about it is what they announced yesterday about having the chat GPT connected to the web. Basically, give it a plug where I can, uh, you know, uh, type, uh, order something for me from DoorDash or from somewhere, and it's going to connect to the Internet and then start order it exactly what I want. Now we're going we're gonna to add more issues here because the hackers will be happy to see something like this. The information there could not be, you know, a correct information, misinformation, contents that will be now spill over from the, uh, from the web to the chat GPT. And now you're going to have a problem, which is the how accurate is the data and how can you save the, the, the platform from the hackers. All right, Professor Ahmad Benafa from San Jose State, thanks so much for the conversation, for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you.